Hi, this is Sandy Sleeve, BSG. Um, this is the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July, everyone. I had um, sleeve surgery on June 23rd, 2016 at St. Mary's Hospital with Dr. Randy Baker. Um, as of today, which is Thursday, will be two weeks. Today's Monday, so um, as of today, I'm, I'm down 20 pounds. Feeling pretty good about it. I feel like some of the swelling in my stomach has started to go down a little bit. Not, um, it's not as puffy as it was, and my clothes are starting to get big. <laughs> I haven't gone down a full size yet, um, but I'm close. Um, so I wanted to just keep you up to date on what I've been doing. I decided that my oldest daughter runs marathons and my goal is to run a 5k with her so I went to Playmakers this week and I got a new pair of Brooks running shoes um, and talked to um, some of the people there I'm getting ready to do the C25k app um, I've heard that it's a little bit easier than the um, my, my fitness pal so I'm gonna do the C25k um, what else I was going to say? <laughs> um, so my daughter's excited about it. I'm excited about it. But I got fitted. Oh, and while I was there, they were telling me that there's a class, a beginning class for running and a beginning class for um, walking. But if you take the walking, it teaches you how to run. And they videotape you and they watch what you're doing and how to do it more efficiently and that type of stuff. So I'm going to take, it's a free class. Uh, so if you have a Playmakers, um, Monday nights, it's I think she said an hour um, and I talked to my daughter and she had taken she just took the running class and said I helped her a lot so that's what I'm doing right now I'm, I want to get into water aerobics at um, the local aquatic center however he told me no swimming until my stomach heals so I go back on Tuesday I think that's just with a dietitian I don't know if I'm gonna be able to um, see the surgeon at that time or, or not um, so one of the other things I've been doing is um, my daughter let me borrow her blunt, her bullet and the bullet has been like so much fun. <laughs> I have um, been making this drink to cool off. You know, if, if you ever go out with friends and you know, you, you can't drink. So you kind of just go out so what I what I did I actually have done this twice now um, you know how, how bars make margaritas and they put them in this machine with water and ice and it gets all frothy and stuff so um, I asked him to do that put a little bit of lime juice in it because we can have lemon and lime juice and then I put a little bit of tropical coconut crystal light in there oh my gosh it's so good you, will, you don't miss the alcohol because it's so good. It's so refreshing. So I started doing those at home and you can do it with a bullet. And you get your water in and it's really good. I really like it. Um, the other thing I did, and I had heard that you're not supposed to use a bullet in the beginning because it puts air into your pouch, but I haven't had a problem with it. Um, so then I put in um, white uh, ice, milk, it's not regular milk. It's uh, shoot, I forgot what it's called. It's it's on my doctor approved list. Um, the milk that they tell me to to use, and then um, a little bit of either chocolate or caramel latte um, protein powder, and just uh, put do it in the the uh, bullet. I keep wanting to call that a viper. You put it in the bullet and it tastes like a milkshake from like the Dairy Queen or something like that. It's it's thicker like that. Um, I did add a little bit of water to it. But, um, and as we get farther along, I think you can put some sugar-free pudding in there too to give it a little more substance. But, oh my gosh, that really helped me a lot. That took up space, made me feel full, made me feel satisfied because ice cream is one of the things I love. And if I can get my protein in that way, I'm good. I'm definitely good. Um, so I've been doing that. Um, I went to South Haven yesterday, Saturday, with my kids. Um, and there's an art fair going on, and they have a huge farmer's market. We did 
all kinds of fun things. Walk the pier. And that, that's where I hang out. They've never been there, so I took them there. Um, but the first thing they wanted to do, because they were hungry when we got there, so we went to Maria's Italian Restaurant. And I'm still on the liquid stage, so I can't eat. So what I did is I ordered a coffee, decaf, and I had caramel latte powder in my purse, so I just put that in, and that was my meal. And I was totally satisfied, um, didn't need anything else. It took me just as long to drink that as it did them to eat their meal, um, so we were good. Um, then we walked around South Haven. I think, I think my Fitbit said right around five miles. That we put on and I was drinking water uh, the whole time that we were walking but um, I, and a couple of times I was like oh I gotta stop I gotta go get some water right now I'm out of water and I need it right now so I, I did go get water but when I got back the next day I weighed myself and I hadn't lost any weight and I was like really after all of that walking and I haven't lost any weight well, so I've been kind of studying up on this, and what I found was it's not just the walking, it's the water. So if you can keep up and keep ahead of your water, you're going to continue to lose until you hit a plateau. But uh, So make sure you get your water in. So the next day, I was very conscious, made sure I got enough water in. Sure enough, lost another pound. So it's all about the water. <laughs> I'm sure that the walking helps, but it's all about the water. So I don't know if one works without the other, but I do know that the water is what makes a difference. Um, and then speaking of water, I have been having a hard time getting plain water down. Um, flavored water, like I buy Fruit 2.0, um, flavored water I've been really having a problem with because it's so sweet so then I water it down and then it's hard to keep track of what you've been drinking um, but it still kind of has that sickening sweet smell in it so um, I went to the store and I bought some lemons and some cucumbers and I made some detox water I don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's that's what it lemon and cucumbers the detox water and I've been drinking that and it goes down a lot easier. I don't have to have it at room temperature. It, it works at room temperature as well, but I don't have to have it at room temperature. Um, but it's working. It's helping me get my water in a lot better. So um, if you're having problems, I mean, I still have to sip it, but if you're having problems, give it a whirl. What do you got to lose? Um, but it does make me feel a little better. And then one other thing I did is I am not a coffee drinker. I have not ever been a coffee drinker. But when I was at South Haven and I drank that coffee with that protein water, or with that protein powder, it felt really good in my throat because I've been having kind of a hard time getting sometimes getting the water in and that kind of stuff because it's hard to swallow. And I was drinking tea in the morning, which helped. But I found that if I make a pot of decaf, decaf coffee, it works better. Um, that seems to do it for me. So I have been drinking decaf coffee with protein powder in the morning instead of tea um, or bouillon, something like that. So things are going real well. I'm down 20 pounds in less than two weeks. Um, I'm pretty happy with my progress. Um, I haven't really felt hungry. Um, I did make some jello with protein in it at one point, but I'm out of that and I haven't had that in a few days either. Um, just, I'm anxious to get on my puree stage, but I'm doing okay. Um, so I just wanted to come to you and say happy fourth, everybody. And you will hear back from me after my two week. Have a good day.